Virus related concerns causing a lot of stress for a lot of people these days, but resources are available and all from your own home. Here's Channel 5's Monica de Anda. Little ones to feed, reduced work hours, and bills to pay. These are just some of the things many of you are dealing with in the midst of the coronavirus outbreak, and it can all be overwhelming. You cannot delay uh, seeing your uh, mental health professional or any medical professional, especially in these times. We need to be as close to 100% of our health. Dr. Ruben Pinero Fuentes with South Texas Health System Behavioral Health Center says many factors can add to your anxiety, the unknown being one of them. So if you combine your sensitivity and doubt, plus we're taking away the, the, your effective ways to cope with this in, in a mental health way, that can definitely present high, higher levels of anxiety and even an evolution to depression, which is very unfortunate. According to the National Institute of Mental Health, one in five adults in the U.S. lives with a mental illness. And while we deal with the virus, some healthcare professionals like Pinero Fuentes are turning to telemedicine, using FaceTime or apps like WhatsApp and Skype to connect with patients. I think that the positive thing out of all this is that I'm convinced, and many people are convinced, that we can still be very effective and we can be even more flexible now to deliver help in multiple ways to multiple people in multiple places. With social distancing at the forefront of combating the coronavirus, Pinero Fuentes wants to remind you that it's still important to safely interact with others. One of the, the, the first things that we need to do is not to lose contact with the people that we know, with our friends, with our family. We cannot give in the isolation to the point that now we're completely isolated with no communication with these people. Using technology to talk to loved ones provides an outlet to vent, care, and support one another. Pinero Fuentes says this can help cope with added stress. Monica de Anda, Channel 5 News at 6. By the way, the crisis hotline is staffed 24-7. That's right there on your screen. The number to call, 388-1300.